Hey everyone, welcome to this week's Wet and Wet Flow episode 12. And today we're gonna to talk about how to create a skew effect on scroll. Let's jump into it. Alrighty, so we're in our Webflow project and before we jump into this tutorial, I want to give a huge thank you to Andre PC who actually presented this question on the forum. He not only presented uh, where this idea was implemented, where you can see it here, which is really cool. If I, as I scroll down the page, you'll notice that the text skews as I'm scrolling and that effect depends on how fast I scroll, which is really cool. And Andre not only provided this, but he also provided a tutorial that can be found in Super High that not that walks through how to implement this custom code on a website. What we're going to do today is actually do a high level how to actually implement this on uh, on a Webflow project. But feel free to check out Super High as they go into quite a bit of detail on how this custom code works. So again, thanks to Andre. Now let's jump in to our project. Alrighty. So we saw how it actually works. Now let's see what we have to do to get it to work for our project. So feel free to download this project. I have it as an available clone and you'll notice that the first page uh, actually has the code already working. So you can see that uh, the skew effect is already available. But if you go into uh, the tutorial page, this is the page that we'll actually work on today to uh, implement this code so we can get an idea of what can what is available to us to customize. Alrighty, so back into our Webflow project. The first thing, so there's going to be four steps. The first thing that we have to do is in whatever project we create, we're going to have a section that's going that we want to have all the elements inside that section to skew. So in this project, I want all the elements within this section here to skew. The first thing I need to do is give this section a class name. So we'll name this section L section tutorial. Awesome. Now let's go to our custom code, which can be found in our page settings under custom code. So in our custom code, you'll notice this item here that says add section class name here. So what I'm going to do is add the class name that we just added. Tutorial. Awesome. Now, to be honest, we are almost done. After I save this and publish to the project, if we check out the, the tutorial page, this skew effect is already beginning to come to life. But you'll notice that it's very, very like choppy and sketchy looking. So there's a few more items that we need to complete. So let's jump back into our project. All right, back in our project, we have named our section. We have then uh, added that class name into our custom code. The next thing we need to do is add a transform onto that section. Because what's actually occurring is this skew effect is transforming the section and the items within that section. So we need to create a transition so it's not as uh, quick and sudden. So let's go into our section class and our style, we are going to add a transition. We're going to find the transform transition. Uh, I like 200 milliseconds. Let's change the easing. I kind of want it to ease out towards the end of it. Nice. All right, that's added in. We'll publish our project and see what we have now. Refresh the page. Oh, it's coming to life. See, now it's not as sudden and quick. There's a 200 millisecond transition that's occurring, but it still is a little, it still seems a little uh, jittery. And one thing that I learned in the tutorial uh, that Superhive presented was a additional CSS property called Wheel Change. The Wheel Change CSS property provides a way for authors to hint browsers about the kind of changes to be expected on an element. 
so that the browser can set up appropriate optimizations ahead of time before the element is actually changed. These kind of optimizations can increase the responsiveness of a page by doing potentially expensive work ahead of time before they are actually required. Pretty cool. So what we're going to do is now add uh, this CSS property to our section so that the transform will occur and be available before it's actually called upon. So we're going to go to our custom code into our head tag and then add in our section class name then add the will change property awesome oh need to close it see Perfect. Now, if we check out our tutorial page again, now it's looking much smoother and way better. So as you can tell, it's moving based on the scroll and it's actually de dependent upon how fast I scroll. Now there's some custom additional customization we can do. What if we want this to completely skew so dramatically or what if we want to reduce how dramatic it skews uh, and not skew as much this can be done within the custom code so if we go into our custom code we'll see this constant speed right beneath the current pixel we can change how drastic it is uh, by giving it a larger number so right now it's set at 0.25 Let's say we change this to 0.75. Save this. Publish our project. Refresh the page. Now it is very dramatic, as you can see. So you can determine how dramatic and how fast this transition and skew will occur. Hopefully this was helpful. And uh, feel free to clone this project uh, the all every all the links that I talked about previously the link to the forum uh, post the links to the uh, tutorial as well as the initial uh, website that we saw it on as well as my clonable uh, project they will all be in the description uh, but before we complete let's have a proper goodbye let's go Pretty cool. So today we learn how to create the skew effect directly in our Webflow project. And make sure you look in our description below for all the links. You can find the links to the tutorial as well as the uh, original form uh, post. And you can also find the clonable project. Hopefully this was helpful. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. See y'all next week.